you. Well, in Louisiana, Riverboat Casinos brought in $130 million in September. That's a roughly 3% increase from August. In the Capital Region, the Queen of Baton Rouge, previously Hollywood Casino, well, they had a strong first couple of months after their grand opening in August. So how are the rest of them doing, right? Our Kelly Harvard checked in with them, joins us a bit uh, now for the, a look at how they're doing. So, all right, how much money do they bring in, Kelly? Well, Capital City Casinos brought in 5% more in revenue between August and September. So when we look at the three riverboat casinos, we're looking at the Queen, the Bell, and the Berge. All of them brought in nearly $21 million in September. This is up from the nearly $20 million in August. The Bell had a decrease in revenue between September and August of about 28%, bringing in about $891,000. Taking you to the Berge now, Vice President of Marketing, Mike Bender says they're still finalizing numbers for October. He's hopeful that drawing in more entertainment will create a fun experience for everyone, not for just people who like to game. For us, you know, we're one of those businesses that's entertainment, right? And so when people are, you know, having a little bit less from a discretionary wallet standpoint, you know, that does impact something like casinos. And you've seen that um, across the country, but definitely in the state of Louisiana. You know, for us, we want to offer value to our guests. They're bringing in live entertainment four days a week, Thursday through Sunday. He says Better Than Ezra on the Lawn is expected to bring in a couple thousand guests this coming Friday. And, of course, some of those casinos have Veterans Day things that they're celebrating as well. You can, of course, find all of that information on their website. And you can find this full report to the Louisiana Gaming Control Board on your 9 News app. Matt and Liz. Kelly, thank you, man. Live for